Backing up or cloning your Windows hard drive or SSD can seem like a really daunting task and if you ask 100 different technicians about how uh, or what is the best way of backing up, they'll all give you different answers. My name is Adullah, you're watching Android Technology and here is the easy way of backing up your uh, hard drive or your SSD or cloning your hard drive and SSD in Windows 11 if you're a complete tech noob. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to use a third party software called Macrium software. So uh, let's go ahead and download the free 30 day trial. And they require a login account. This is new. Hmm, well, uh, we can just go ahead and sign in with Google. Once you've got everything set up, this is how your screen is going to look like. They also want my email, my name. Uh, I don't want two-factor authentication on this one because I'm not going to use it for anything. And you can just click register. And that's it. And as you can see, the download has um, automatically started. So I should see it pop up on my browser anytime soon. Yep, right here. So I'm just going to download it onto a dump folder it's a 275 mb download as you can see should be done any minute now all right great so let's go ahead and install this program on our system i'll open up the dump folder and this is the setup right here so let me just double click this real quick yes i want to give it permissions and uh, so this is the macram reflect installer i wanted to install in english united states don't want the log click next and this will just install the program for you you don't really need to do much here just keep clicking next do read the text on the screen uh, if you want to read the end user license agreement good on you if you do you sh more people should read license agreements uh, i accept the terms because i've read it already uh, it's a 30 day trial we don't need to enter the license key so click next and then Macrium will also tell you when your trial expires. So in my case, it's going to expire one month from now. Click next again. Uh, so this needs a registration code and your email address. You don't really need to register your license because you don't have one. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, click on that. You can just copy paste this code and keep it handy in case we need it later. So go ahead and click next. Oh wow, you really do have to and give it your email address again so i'm just going to put in my email address which the editor is going to blur and then click next all right so now you have a few options to uh, install stuff i don't want a desktop shortcut uh, i don't want the image guardian thingy i just want cbt which is basically uh used for high performance backups you can uh, uncheck all of them and just be fine with it um, suit yourself do leave the installed desktop shortcut enabled if you really don't know how to find programs in your system and you have a desktop that's littered with shortcuts as you can see i do not like having any desktop icons on my system so that's what i'm going ahead with and then if you like virtual machine uh, backups and stuff you can use vi boot but if you're watching this video i'm assuming you have no idea what virtual machine means which means you can get to go check out our virtual machine videos on canada technology so let's go ahead and click next and now the wizard is ready to install so we are good to go now i'll fast forward this uh, this shouldn't take longer than a couple of minutes to get everything up and running but uh, i'll be back with you as soon as this is done setting itself up and that's it so uh, macrium has now been installed on our system so i'll go ahead and click finish and you need to restart your PC for the configuration changes to take effect. You don't necessarily have to do it. Um, it's just uh, a thing that just restarting PCs works better with programs that interact with uh, your hardware a lot. So if this is the time. Go ahead and restart your system. I'm recording a video, so I can't do it right now. I'll just click no. All right, great. So now is the time we need to launch Macrium on our system. So the search for Macrium or click on the desktop icon, whatever you have, and we'll launch the program. And here we go. Uh, love the fact that they have a dark mode. They didn't have it last time. I'll go with light gray. That looks hideous. Blue? That's slightly better. 
all right so this is uh, your macrium dashboard essentially and it will show you all the different partitions and drives that you have so at the moment i only have one drive attached to my system and it has all of these different partitions right under this you will see a small option that says clone this disk and this is what we're going to use the thing about cloning is that you already need to have a second uh, hard drive attached to your system so that you can we have a target for cloning the drive wherever you want to use so uh, as you can see i have this system partition this is an unformatted 16 mb partition something to do with windows this is my windows drive and this is my library drive and this is then another windows recovery tools drive that uh, new devices will often come with so if you haven't formatted your drive ever you'll probably not see as many partitions on it this will already be one whole thing but what you can look at is that it's just one disk and i can check and uncheck all of these boxes by just selecting this act uh, this particular box if you want to copy uh, specific partitions let's say i only want to clone uh, my windows partition and my library uh, then we can uh, just select them and then we can start cloning our disks uh, for this example let's just clone everything because you will likely use uh, tools like this when you're switching your primary hard drive out for an ssd and you don't want to go through the hassle of installing everything again so this is a very quick way of sort of getting that uh, seamless switch in so you just clone your hard drive to your ssd or clone your ssd to a faster or bigger ssd and uh, just swap them out once the cloning is complete so now we can get to go ahead and click on clone this disk now this is what i was talking about so you need uh, another disk to clone everything too so this is your source everything you want to clone and then this is your destination disk and there are no disks available here so we can click next i do need to select a destination disk ha huh, interesting let me find uh, a second disk all right so now i'm back with another disk this is just a 8 gb flash drive so it's not quite going to work that way but just to demonstrate the point you would ideally want to have your uh, second ssd here so now as you can see i can uh, i have my primary drive and then i have my secondary drive where i want to copy over or clone all of the contents from the primary drive if you don't see this show up just go to the view section and then click on refresh this will analyze this partitions and everything and the disk should show up just fine all right great so now we can click on clone this disk once again and uh, so once again all of your different partitions and you can select your disk to clone to which in this case is going to be this one now obviously i am if i clone a 1 terabyte drive to uh, an 8 gb flash drive it's not quite going to work so i will just uncheck these two partitions and uh, yeah so now i have a few options showing up here i can either copy these partitions so uh, selected partitions will be copied to this disk i can erase all existing partitions on the target disk which is our destination disk or i can just delete the selected partition or whatever so which is fine we're not going to do anything here just go ahead and click on next uh insufficient space on destination drive that should not be a thing oh uh, that's because these clones are selected okay so we'll uncheck them and we'll only copy over these three partitions go ahead and click next and uh, this will all move these trans partitions here so uh, you can also drag and drop them so if i let's say i can float them to the left or right so i can float this to the right i can have all of my partitions lined up like this uh, so that if i want to extend this partition later i'll have all of this empty space you can only extend a partition out to the right so uh, if i want to extend this partition now i'll have to first float it to the left and then i'll have that space available it's all very simple you don't have to really worry about all of these things if when you're cloning an entire hard drive you will just select all and then just click next to get all of them here uh, we're not working with that so we this is what we have selected at the moment and then you can just go ahead and click next 
Now you have the option of scheduling a clone. We don't want to schedule a clone, so we'll skip this step by clicking next. So as you can see, it shows uh, you can schedule this clone uh, if you want to run it again in the future, just for backup sake. We don't want to do that, so go ahead and click next to skip this step. And uh, this is the final step. So this will show you all the your entire clone summary. This will show you what partitions are you copying over from your old drive to the new one so as you can see there's the first partition the second partition and the third partition that we selected and uh, this is our target disk and the source disk so just make sure everything is in the right order you can go back and reselect any partitions if you missed out on them and then the final step let's go ahead and click on finish now uh, it will ask you uh, some backup save options. So do you want to run this backup now? Do you want to run it in the background? Save the backup destination files. Nada, nada, nada. I don't want to do that. I just want to run this backup right away. So just check run this backup now and then click on OK. So uh, this has now started. The process has now started. You'll get a warning that the following drives will be overwritten. And this is because whatever data you have in your second drive, the drive that you're cloning all of your data to, that drive will get overridden with everything else. So just go ahead and click continue. Uh, so you're going to have to check this box to that confirm this box that you know that it's going to make ir irreparable changes essentially or irreversible changes. That would be the better term. And then click continue and your cloning will start that's how easy it is to uh, clone drives or hard drives ssds whatever you want in windows this works for everything so even if you have an ssd if you have an hdd if you want to clone a flash drive a memory card whatever you want to clone you can clone using macrium of course until your free license expires if you like the software you can go ahead and buy it as well if you like this video, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such videos can we make for you. If you'd like to know more about tech, visit our website candid.technology, follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter and we'll see you in the next video.